sorry. It's like a big problem. I mean, we, we don't want to, we don't want to, I'll show you, so. Yeah, it's a problem, it's a problem, it's a big problem. Okay, come on. Let's get this, oops. We're just getting up. Welcome to our Saturday uh, evening. We are getting up. We've been taking a nap and now we're waking up. Oh, wakey, wakey. Hiya. Look at this thing. I don't know what's going on with this mm. nightmare. This chair is not really working out as well as I had hoped. Oh. For many reasons. Oh. All right. All right, buddy, come on. Let's fix this. It goes around this way. Oh, some problems. All right. Don't bite your hands, okay? Come on. Wanna, what do you want to do? You want to come hang out in the other room? You want to go... Hang out and watch TV with Daddy? Mm. Yeah? All right, let me get you going here. So here we are, happy days. Um, we had our aide here this morning until two o'clock. It's always nice to have a friend. And then Daniel was really tired this afternoon. It took a long nap. So now I'm getting him up again and he's Kind of giving me a little bit of resistance, but we need to change our positions and move about the house and go do some different activities, and then we're going to have a shower later. Want to go watch football? I don't know if there's football. Want to go ask Daddy what's what's on? Look, there's you. Say hi, friends. No, bite your hands. No, no. Okay. So, just want to come in and say hi. It's always busy because. I don't get a break and nursing agency basically tells me there's no hope in sight for ever having weekend nursing again. So we need to continue to address this problem because it really sucks and I think I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't have some kind of reprieve. And they don't care, nobody cares. I care, but what the hell. Okay, we've been up for a while watching football. Now it's time for bed. And Daniel's giving me a little bit of a hard time here. He gets kind of spastic, see? He's like, okay. All right, we're going to get you into bed now. You had a good time with Daddy watching football. Yeah, I know, I know, I see. You got, you. You got me. You got me. Okay. Okay, I know, I know. You're trying to get my streak? Yeah. Okay, got you. Ow, Daniel, you're so strong. Hold on. All right, we're relaxing now. Just had meds. Just get this thing all loaded up for the night. He gets a continuous feed around the clock. Around the clock. <laughs> Crazy. So, you know, this morning I was like, or last night I was like, I'm gonna um, maybe film a day in the life, you know, what it's like. And then I slept late and the whole day got away from me. And it's very hard to do that because um, Sometimes it's pretty intense doing stuff. But we, we had a quiet day today. And uh, I have this, you know, whoops. Dale has so many cool things, but this is, he got this from Santa this year at the Santa breakfast. Look at it. It's the cutest little thing. I'm gonna turn him off right now. And then I'm going to move things around here Got a lot of cords and wires but this is his camera and his camera is right here and it tells me everything he's doing at night whoops we gotta fix it I need to grow a third arms okay that's better hello camera 
Henry, you waiting for me, buddy? So blurry. You waiting for me? Good boy. We gotta go outside. <sighs> I'm feeling kind of lost at the moment. Get my things together. I'll go lay down. Hello from Sunday. I'm here with Daniel. And Dale and I are just hanging out. Huh. We are going to do some watercolors using our paint brushes. And we just got everything out. I did this yesterday. Sorted through the brushes. We're gonna play with some water and paints. Wanna do that? Are you getting grumpy now? We were just in a good mood. Now we're grumpy. So, I was doing something yesterday too with him. Yeah, let's hang things from the ceiling. I was looking for a ball that had like a way for me to hang it, like with either a thing on the top or like like it was like hollow balls that have like they look like a honeycomb kind of I don't know. So this is a piece of track that we have that goes with his lift, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna make like a tether ball, and he was he was playing with this one yesterday, and we were whacking it, and it was sliding back and forth. So I'm trying to come up with like innovative solutions for activities. Exploring new avenues to physical therapy too. I might try to find a place that I can bring him to. Um, but that, that is on the list. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to do uh, probably within the next couple weeks is really start looking for a new van. That's kind of our priority for the beginning of the year. And once I have a new van for him, I think things will become a lot better in terms of going places and doing things. Our van right now, it's still running and the, and the lift is still working. Right now, the chair can't go in there because when the people came to take the chair to do the new modifications, they put new wheels on it. But the bracket is now too high for the... Easy lock. We have what's called easy lock. It's basically there's a steel bracket on the bottom of the chair and it has a pin that comes out and the pin is like really strong and it hold and it snaps into the the base which is in the van. So it snaps in and clicks in place and if it's not in place it will alarm and tell you the person's not secure. It's in lieu of having tie downs, you know. It just makes it a lot easier. Easy lock is great because you just go up the lift or up the ramp and you snap in place and you're good so we love it but now since they did the work on this chair it doesn't fit because the pin is about this much too high because the wheels were higher we tried to take the pin off ourselves because the right away or they call them not right away now mobility works is the company there the guy was like well if you can get the pin to screw down and try to get some more thread to it but it's all the way down so it's not long enough. So I gotta resolve that. And Dale has a doctor's appointment on Wednesday this week. So hopefully I can get a new pen. I'm probably gonna have to just bring it to East Hartford, which is an hour drive. Um, I'll call them tomorrow and try to troubleshoot it again. John said he was gonna help me with it this weekend, but then he decided it was too hard because the, the cables to the brakes are right next to where that pin is, where the bolt is. The nut, the nut. So to go to screw the nut off, well, first of all, it's not budging with our wrenches. Sorry. It's like a big problem. I mean, we, we don't want to, we don't want to, I'll show you. So we don't want to get this, see this, this, you see, there's a, these are the cables that are for the brakes. See the brake? But this, here is the nut and it won't come off and that's the pin underneath let's see if I can this is the pin that holds them in the van but it's too short now does that make sense <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna wreck <laughs> I feel like a puddle kind of a mess I really didn't want to start the day off without showering but um i'm gonna have to do it later i've been taking care of this guy all morning and we're just going to do some artwork 
and I'm trying to trying to keep myself in a good mood. And sometimes it's hard because, you know, in life nothing's ever perfect. And sometimes other people get in moods and then they take their moods out on you and then it kind of hurts your feelings and then you feel sad. And um Yeah, I'm not gonna say much more about that. I don't wanna go there. All right, so I'm gonna finish my uh, really ugly looking protein shake, it's like green, and do some art with Daniel and see if he's into that. He did not wanna watch the movie we were watching, and so that's fine. I'll try not to be boring, right Daniel? Mommy will try not to be boring. Sometimes I'm boring, I think. I got too many things going on. Right, Dan? We need more help on the weekends. Even if it was just a couple hours, it's like, Two full entire days without a break is hard. He's supposed to have somebody here. He used to have somebody here. And uh, they didn't quit. The agency decided to terminate them for whatever reason that was. I don't know. But now I have nobody on the weekend. So I'm just really like, what the heck? But. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a big problem. So Daniel, do you want to tell everybody what we're doing? So Dale and I are working on a piece here with watercolors and I'm using my old um, watercolor palette because I don't have Payne's Gray, but I've got some new Art Arteza um, liquid watercolors and I bought these um, this palette here so that I can bring it right up to Daniel and he can really see the colors when I'm dipping the brush. And right now I've just been placing the brush in his hand like this and he's very receptive and we've been just kind of improvising and kind of painting this this is a tutorial that we're sort of half following <laughs> this woman is sort of practicing her sky when it's finished it's going to be our storm in the distance in the sea um, so we started with some violet and cobalt and Payne's gray and we've just been kind of layering and then we're going to work harder on our horizon and our sky colors um, and this is going to be like hopefully a bit of beach with some stones but Dale and I are just you know kind of making up a scenario that you know it's a cold day and there's a storm out at sea and it's really cold and very gray and um, yeah this that we have to go through with some paper towel in a minute and dab it we've been using mop brushes and flat brushes and um, <laughs> right he's looking at me he's like let's get back to painting when he's ready he went yeah okay hold on so we'll come back and show you again what our processes looks like I, I um I'm just exploring colors with him today sometimes when you're painting with Daniel you have to take into consideration that he might suddenly become a little spastic and I've got to I've got to just kind of follow his lead I'm gonna go find my um my table tripod because that would help me see I have these tubes they have holes and they're made of foam but the the small one isn't small enough for some of these brushes, so I have to usually tape them up a little bit, but what I do is, and I'm gonna show you what we do, I put them in the end of the brush, and it lets me adjust the length, and then it gives Daniel a lot more grip to hold on to, and we just sort of go with it, so. These are found on Etsy. If you're someone who is looking at this going, wow, that might help me just to grip, um, not Etsy, I'm sorry, Amazon. I don't remember the name of them. I bought them two years ago, but I do see them frequently popping up in my stuff. So here, here, you want to try? All right. All right. So what's the matter? You want it? You done? He doesn't like it when I talk. Sometimes he does this until I stop talking to the camera. So we're going to continue painting and then, um, We'll come back and I'll try to videotape some later with the tripod. I just want to take advantage while I have him up and while the house is quiet to um, add some more color because at some point we have to let it dry anyway. That's Daniel's spasticity right there. It's called muscle clonus. He's, he's 
he's got to be readjusted in the chair because sometimes he gets himself too far forward and he doesn't like it and his leg starts to shake so I gotta readjust his positioning right we're gonna readjust his hips and his legs and this is my day I'm a mess I'm a mess but I'm okay right Daniel we're good we're having a day we're painting a storm we were just watching the weather channel and they have all those little videos you know and we like to watch the the little highlights you know where storms are happening all over the world and so we were talking about that and tornadoes and all the rain in California that's happening what okay and snow in places so that's what motivated me to find a storm plus I kind of felt stormy this morning so but it's not stormy outside here it's sunny uh, so that's been quite enjoyable but yeah whatever it can turn into I'm having spasticity now mommy and I don't want to be like this so we're going to put him back in the bed and see if he needs a change he has been up for a while so sometimes he just needs to be repositioned and changed and maybe his leg or his hip is a little irritated or you know it's spasming so we'll check it out <laughs> yeah he's he's <laughs> okay Daniel. i just wanted to show this this is what happens this is what happens okay so now we're going to try to get him up and it is very hard for me to do the transfer on my own so i have to get rid of the camera so um Hopefully he cooperates. Sometimes it's a little tricky. You need to calm down. I'm gonna get you now. He's like, now, mom, now. Okay, bye. I gotta go. We got a little snow. Just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Oopsies. Oh, it's cold this morning. Come on, guys, let's do our morning walkies all around. Ooh, good morning, world. Happy Monday. How pretty is the sky this morning? Look at that. It's like gray and blue. Order supplies. So let's call Option Care. I did just call Mobility Works. We have an appointment tomorrow to take the van with the chair to fix the locking pin. So we'll get that done in the morning tomorrow. So that's good news. Let's see. We're really going to call Option. Stupid music. Hi, this is Julie Hasselberger calling regarding Daniel Hasselberger. I'm just calling to order Daniel's um, enteral supplies, his feeding tubes, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Daniel, I love your Valentine. Did you make that? Did you make that? Mm -mm. Yeah? Look at this. 
Oh, Daniel, that's so cute. Oh, whoa, you guys are busy bees. Busy bees, look at this bee. Daniel, this is so nice. Did you make that with Karen? They love it. Oh my goodness. And he held, you know, how you put these all together. Everybody. I am in my van driving back home. It is early on Tuesday. Uh, well, I got up and I had to bring Daniel's wheelchair, which is in the back without Daniel, uh, to a place called Mobility Works. They are the people who um, service this vehicle because, you know, like for the ramp and everything else, we bought it from them. Unfortunately, their only location is in this area is in East Hartford, Connecticut, which is about an hour from my house, 54 minutes or so without traffic. Just another moderate inconvenience to my day. <laughs> but the good news is they fixed the chair. They didn't charge me anything. That means not the chair itself, but the, the locking pin to hold it into the easy lock. It's like I talked about the other day. We don't have tie downs for his chair. We have what's called easy lock system, which is just a different way of securing a wheelchair into a van. And when new motion came, they put new wheels on it, but they neglected to realize the impact to the locking pin for the easy lock. So all of a sudden we were trying to take Daniel somewhere and we're like, wait, the chair doesn't fit. It's too tall. So they fixed it for me and um, yeah, so East Hartford is funny because I grew up in East Hartford basically since I was, we moved there when I was in the sixth, sixth grade, so and I lived there till high school, college, you know, but anyway, I ran into somebody I graduated with and it was really kind of funny, she's like, I graduated from East Hartford High. What year did you graduate? And I said, oh, 84. She's like, Ronnie Folletti, did you have like Julie Polk? My maiden name was Polk, P-O-L-K. And um, it's just really fun to, to run into people that you haven't seen in 30 years, you know? So, anyways, 30, 40, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna age myself too much here, but anyhow, anyhow I have to rush back and then I have to go to Danbury. I gotta get the chair back to the nurse for Daniel because they're using the stroller right now. But I have to sit with my mother-in-law so my father-in-law can go with his aide to a appointment because she has Alzheimer's dementia and it's kind of getting harder for things to happen you know he used to be able to all go out together to his appointments and now she's it's it's hard anybody else dealing with Alzheimer's it's awful really I just had to get this van fixed this morning which made today very manic for me uh, but tomorrow Daniel has to go to the doctor he's having a procedure on his back at the dermatologist to remove more tissue around a certain freckle area or like a mole they biopsied it and then they found that it was atypical so they want to take off more tissue in actually two spots but they're only doing one tomorrow the worst one and that's what's happening tomorrow so I'm just gonna drive listen to my podcasts and um, sun is shining and I'm so grateful for that there's no traffic so far also grateful for that grateful that this didn't cost me a penny they fixed it I was like I don't know what's gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars you know I don't know nice people 